Hello, my name is Lara Leninger. I'm the director of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory Energetic Materials Center. And today I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to the research at the Energetic Materials Center at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. At LNL, we aim to understand the fundamental science of energetic materials to help our sponsors improve performance, safety, and reliability. Our primary sponsor is the Department of Energy, National Nuclear Security Administration, whose mission is maintaining the stockpile, nonproliferation, and counterterrorism. Energetic materials that we look into for our sponsors are explosives, thermites, and propellants. At LNL, we have unique facilities. The Energetic Materials Center brings an integrated approach to explosives research in our four main focus areas. We look at the performance of explosives and energetic materials. On the top left, I have two visuals of performance uh, both detonation performance and mechanical performance. On the top right is safety, and this is an image of a fuel fire, a B-52 fuel fire, which is an accident scenario that we cannot prevent, but that we would like to make sure that the consequences are mitigated. We do material development, and the bottom right is an image of our pilot facility where we can scale up to kilogram quantities of high explosive materials out at Site 300. And on the bottom left, aging and compatibility. For the stockpile stewardship program, we need to understand the chemical mechanisms of high explosives and energetic materials and inerts, all organic materials put together for a number of years. We need to understand how they age how compatible they are with each other for chemical reactivity, and how long we expect their shelf life to be. Our vision for industrial partnership is to provide our technologies to the private sector to enable national competitiveness and industry margins. And when I say margins, I mean both safety margins and financial margins. Our industrial partnerships are typically defense, oil exploration and mining, and explosive detection. In those areas, we look at more effective use and application of energetic materials, how to optimize the efficiency. This could be applications with warheads, fracking, or emergency response. We looked at improved safety for operations. That could be proving blast arcs, looking at insensitive munitions, and accident scenarios. We look at novel materials, explosives, reactive materials, as well as simulants of explosives and reactive materials. We look at mitigation for shelf life decline, specifically trying to mitigate environments like heat and humidity, which potentially reduce the shelf life of a commercial explosive, and improve detection accuracy. So both radiographic signatures trying to improve the discrimination in radiographic detection techniques, and also the thresholds for chemical detection techniques, trying to lower those thresholds so we can be more accurate. We've made significant pro progress in agile manufacturing of energetics, including architecting high explosives, building up parts with multi-materials, looking at non-detonating energetic materials, such as pyrotechnics, thermites, and intermetallics, and making custom molds, inert molds, and scaffolds that we would then inject explosives into. We have a number of patents in all of these areas. We have applied some of our unique equipment. It's being used to support the petroleum industry for thermal safety characterization of energetics used in drilling operations. The image to, on the right is our one-dimensional time to explosion apparatus, ODTX, at the High Explosives Applications Facility. It allows us to look at thermal signatures and thermal response of a high explosive material 
and to understand both the time at which it takes to evolve to an explosion, the violence of that explosion, the pressure, as well as the uh, components that come off the chemistry. We're executing a three-year strategic partnership with Shell Oil Company through the American Petroleum Institute to characterize the thermal safety of energetics used in deep well drilling. And we are also part of a CRADA to look at propens and energetics, including fabrication, formulation, detonation, and testing. Specific uh, operations, such as subsea drilling, can present high consequence challenges. I think we've all heard of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. It caused catastrophic damage to the Gulf of Mexico and surrounding coastlines. And we were asked by Shell Oil Company to look at an emergency response device, an emergency severance tool. We designed and proved the effectiveness of a linear shape charge array that could be used to sever a drill collar on command. On the right are a series of a collection of four photos. On the top are images from a framing camera and at the bottom are images from a computer simulation. So the computer simulation was used to design the array and to demonstrate its effectiveness. And once we feel we had optimized it using modeling and simulation, we did a single experiment out at our site's 100. Novel high explosive detection techniques have also been developed at Lawrence Livermore. They utilize chemical reaction to quickly uh, detect explosives with a color change. So the Elite Test Kit, which is the Easy Livermore Inspection Test for Explosives, was commercialized by Field Forensics, and we continue to improve it. It takes advantage of the Meisenheimer reaction, which will give us a color change. We have been continuing to look at novel solvents, which are going to improve the detection capability for existing explosives and also allow us to get into explosives that haven't been able to be detected as of yet. There is a patent application and process for these three new solvents. And finally, in the area of explosives detection, dogs are one of the best explosive de detection methods on earth. They have extremely sensitive noses, and we, we know that. Canine training aids are a very important part of the training of these dogs so that they can detect, detect explosives. It is important to not put dogs at risk by having dangerous explosives, having them exposed to dangerous explosives. We have patented a technology that uses additive manufacturing to create a matrix of conventional explosive that is non-detonable or by building a part that's made out of a fuel oxidizer mixture so that these dogs could actually detect the materials as they are but that they are, the materials themselves are not dangerous. So that's just a quick exploration of what we're doing in the Energetic Materials Center. Appreciate your time, and thank you very much.